All right, good morning, everybody. I had another question asked about how to create disk images so you can create copies of Blu-rays later. Um, this was in response to one of my videos about creating Blu-ray and DVD discs in Compressor. So let's go ahead and do that. I'm going to send this to Compressor. It's just a little tiny clip. So I'm not going to burn a Blu-ray for this, so don't worry about it. And what I'm going to do here is create Blu-ray, drag it and drop it in here. All right. So I've got this little thing. Now if I click on this part, this gives me the options where I can change my output device to my Blu-ray burner or I can change it to hard drive and that's the key right there. If I change it to hard drive, I can give it a name, a volume name, which always must be in caps. Um, I can, you know, this the typical stuff that I did before with the the Blu-ray where you can change the background and all that kind of thing. And I'm just going to tell it to start batch. Oh, it has errors. Okay. Oh, silly me, there's no audio in this clip. All right, let's throw a switch down here. <laughs> or how about this? Come on, grab it. All right, let's do that again. Send a compressor. Now there's audio in it. Before, the problem was that there was no audio. So now there's audio. Duh. All right, let's change this. Title, we'll call test. Volume name will call test in all caps and start batch. Okay, remember it went to hard drive, so that's really important. Audio's done. Video will take a little while. So let's discuss some fun things today. Um, I shaved. Yeah, there's no beard anymore. What of it? You got a problem with that? You looking at me? You talking to me? I don't see anyone else here. Okay, so now this is done. Well, almost. Still got to do a couple of seconds of writing. Okay. Now I'm going to go to the completed. And I'm going to go in here. And actually, if I hit this, it will show me where the files were. And right here is my image. So now we're going to burn this image out of Finder. Here we go. We're going to right click on this. And we'll just say burn disk image test.img and out comes my, my disk. I wish you could see this right now. It's so cool. This is actually the first time it's opened. Um, you put a disk in there and you hit burn. And then after you're done, it'll ask if you want to burn another. And you can burn as many as you want, as long as you have that image. And if you don't want to do it now, do one now and then come back another time and go burn disk image and it'll do the same thing. So there you go. As long as you have this image right here, you can burn as many copies as you want and you don't have to run through compressor. Now, when compressor does burn, actually, um, something that did come up was if you burn it the one time, it will ask you when you're finished if you want to burn another and you can hit OK. But let's say you just wanted to burn four copies today and then you want to do 10 copies tomorrow and you don't want to leave your computer logged in. The disk image is the way to do it. Uh, that way you don't have to worry about it and you can burn this one. And if you have multiple Blu-ray burners, you can actually burn the disk image several times uh, with the disk image. With compressor, you cannot do that. So just a thought. All right, so that's it for now. It's real quick, easy tutorial. Hopefully you understood it and, and got what you, you needed from that one. All right, thank you very much for watching. <laughs>